Hi, I'm Pete, and this is another special puzzling vlog. Now, there is puzzle content in this video, so if you want to skip right to it, there are links down in the description. Meanwhile, I'll give you a little update on me. Now, I'm no iJustine, but I am doing my level best here. So, after the last vlog, when I was in Ottawa, I did say that I was going to do another vlog, but then things changed, everything started shutting down, and I was just focusing on uh, getting uh, things that I needed to get done in Ottawa, and then getting back here to Sioux Lookout. Now, fortunately, everything did work out, and here I am in my Puzzletorium. So, uh, as I'm showing these videos, uh, keep in mind that I, I know that uh, these are some tough times, but there is some uh, comfort for me, and I think for a lot of us, in some familiar uh, things, some familiar routines, some familiar activities. So, for me, that's puzzling, and I'm just going to keep puzzling, and I'm going to keep making puzzle videos. They might look a little different, but uh, it will be something uh, familiar. All right, well, um, time for the puzzle content, but uh, before I switch up the camera, I will warn you that the table is has changed, all right? I know change sucks, but the table is different, but it's gonna be okay. All right, so now you know, table's different, and let's go and uh, take a look at the puzzles. All right, now we're at the puzzle part of my vlog. And the first puzzle I'm gonna talk about is the Cullinan Cube, which I did bring to Ottawa and I really wanted to scramble it. I wasn't sure how much solving I'd get done, but I really wanted to scramble it. Unfortunately, I messed it up. I messed up the scramble. That's right, it is possible. So to try and explain this a little bit, I will bring my handy uh, Cullinan Cube stand in. This is the uh, Sun Mix. And it's a very similar puzzle to the uh, Cullinan cube. It's, it's a member of the same family. So there's three steps that you need to uh, do to scramble, to give a really good scramble uh, to one of these types of puzzles. And if you don't do the three steps in order, I don't think you get as good a scramble. Um, in particular, the third step is the jumbling step. And you want to do that last because once you start jumbling, it's very difficult to do the other two parts of it. So the first step of the scramble is a uh, just like I call it a mega mix scramble. All it does is it separates the corners from these uh, composite edges here, and that's really easy to do. You do a three cycle. I'll do it here. So I did an edge three cycle, and now I can just say do that, and then undo it, and it's going to attach this corner to this piece. And uh, so we, we basically move these corners around. Now I don't want to scramble my puzzle right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that. Now I notice that this uh, uh, sun makes, even though I solved it a few times, it's still a little catchy too. And I think there's some work to be done on this. Uh, I was doing a bit of work on the Conan cube, and I'll bring that up in a moment. So the first, that was the first step. The second step, and this is where I messed up, the second step simply involves I'm um, scrambling uh, it in this way where we're not jumbling. We're just taking pieces uh, that, that um, go together. Let's see, I turn that one. Yeah, see, this is what I have to do. I have to make sure I turn it right and then sort of uh, split these composite edges, right? We just split those. And I could turn it in the other direction and split it in the other direction. But the thing I had to do here is make sure that I didn't, uh, as I started here, um, turn one in one direction, one in another, and end up with um, blocking because that's the third step. So in order to um, break up the composite edges without jumbling, uh, I have to be very careful. And that's where I messed up on uh, the uh, Cullinan cube. Um, if I flip it over to this side, um, the way to tell whether or not it's jumbled is just to turn a couple of these uh, faces, and if I can turn them, so that's not jumbled, because the the um, 
interblocking the little thin strips along each side of the edge that go with these uh, quadrilaterals. Um, they're still in their proper positions. They might be in, in a different uh, edge, but they're still oriented properly and where they belong. Once they start uh, swapping these pieces around, that's when you get blocking. And that I want to save for the third step. Unfortunately, what happened on this side um, was I got some, I, I got some blocking um, as a result of, of making some mistakes. And I'm not sure how bad it is. I've been working on it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you see this is blocked right now. So, um, yeah, so one of these, I can't tell which one, probably probably here. Um, no, that one's good. Huh, so it's got to be over here. Um, yeah, so this, this edge right here, you, you probably can't really see this. And this is one of the reasons why um, some people use uh, stickers. But uh, basically, one of this, this quadrilateral is in the wrong place. And so its its edge piece is going this way instead of being on the outside. And so it's blocking some of the turns. I think that one, um, actually it might, actually, sorry, yeah, that's what I, I realized. It's actually this one right here because that's what's blocking our turn. So this one's out of place. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, you know, I've been trying to get it back so that it's still scrambled, but, but in a stage two scramble because I wanted to photograph each, uh, stages scramble uh, that ship may have already sailed anyway it's still fun and uh, it's kind of cool the other thing I did with this uh, oh yeah and then the third step is to, to jumble scramble it which is just a block makes it block pretty fast so the other thing I did in Ottawa was I took uh, some of the faces off I loosened some of the faces so this is actually turning in some ways a little better than my uh, a Sun makes uh, turning a little smoother. However, one thing I didn't do in Ottawa was I didn't uh, put any lube. It needs just a little bit of lube for these uh, small pieces because they're kind of catchy and just a very, very tiny amount of lube um, will help that and, and I think uh, help break it in as well. The problem is I went to Ottawa fully expecting to walk into a hobby shop and come out with a couple of bottles of lube. <laughs> So I didn't bother bringing any because I was going to have a fresh new bottle. So uh, I do have some left in here. It's uh, it's not a dire situation, uh, but yeah, I, I, I couldn't uh, do much with it in Ottawa. So I didn't get as far on the Cullinan cube as I really wanted. Uh, ha on the other hand, I did actually manage, I, I know I talked about my uh, rotate and slide puzzle, my eight layer. I love this puzzle. This is so much fun. And I did solve it a couple of times. Um, it, it's just a, a very entertaining challenge. It's certainly not hard, uh, but you do have to think about it. Um, and it can give you some moments where you have to sort of figure out what your next move is. Uh, but it's just fun. It, I just love having this. Um, because everything shut down so fast in Ottawa, I didn't even have a chance to go sit in, in a coffee shop uh, with my puzzle, which is one of the sort of the traditional things uh, that uh, that we do. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a sort of a, a ritual, I guess you'd call it. Uh, but still, I, I had fun with this. All right, so that was uh, that was the two puzzles I, I showed in my, uh, my vlog. And then the other thing I showed in my vlog was a very large bag of uh, purchases I made, uh, the complete grabby track system and a logic puzzle game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get those and I'm gonna unbox them for you right here. And here we are. This is the bag from Mastermind Toys. These are the uh, purchases I made very early on in my trip to Ottawa when everything was still perfectly normal and we didn't have any idea what was happening, what was going to happen just uh, really a week and a few days later. So, um, but let's let's ha sort of have a recap here. So remember that I got, and, and this is it, this is all still in the bag, um, the original Gravity Tracks. Okay, Gravity Tracks set okay just a fun thing uh, you got the expansion set because you know a couple of uh, more expansion and then I also got this this uh, game 
Uh, no, it's a yeah, logic game called it. Here, let me, let me just move all this. Uh, called the Gravity Maze. So, uh, and I got this. I'm very much into educational toys and, and logic uh, puzzles and things like that. Put that. Okay, bag is empty except it's got the uh, receipt in there. And, uh, but I'm not going to need that. So, so there you go. That's, uh, that's everything I got. That was quite the shopping spree. Uh, again, you know, this doesn't have it. I don't get out to shop in an actual store very often. Uh, having said that, <laughs> um, and, uh, full disclosure, uh, in a month ago, uh, two months ago, I actually spent quite a bit of time in another big city called Winnipeg, and I also went to the Mastermind Toys there, uh, and I have bags of, of things that I still haven't unbagged yet, so that'll be a future video. Anyway, let's just focus on what I got from Ottawa. Uh, it's sort of uh, uh, a, a lot here. So I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just put these, uh, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to clear the deck, and we'll we'll look at Gravity Maze first. All right, here's Gravity Maze, and this is by Think Fun. And whenever I see that, I, I always think of really good, high quality things. They they, they really uh, impress me. Their quality and their their you know the the, the value uh, and, and uh, of their products. So this is a falling falling marble logic game. That kind of appeals to me because it you know it adds an element of movement and and uh, some possibly some noise we'll hear and that's something I, I really kind of like for uh, you know some some types of of uh, people will like that you know um, okay and then it has all the different uh, now this looks like it's for a global market because it says here create the path through the towers and roll towards the goal. Okay, so that's good. Ignite your mind. And it says here, it says 8 to 99, um, which I guess is the age range. So 8 to 98, that's interesting. So if you're 7, you, you just got to wait until midnight on that, uh, your birthday, the day before your birthday. Okay, and then 1 plus, I think it's uh, how many players. So as individual, that's kind of nice because... You know, again, there's there's all sorts of cooperative games and pretty much every card game except Solitaire uh, ever made. But uh, you know, it's nice that there are games that one person can play uh, as well. Kind of cool. So, all right, we see the price. I might as well just I'll show you the price. Um, I think this was their last one, so the box was just a little bit better. It's just thirty nine ninety nine. That's Canadian dollars. Um, so it's not. I mean, it's. It's not cheap, but it's uh, it's really not too bad for something like this. Okay, and so this gravity-powered logic maze is sure to put your visual perception and reasoning skills to the test. The goal is to build a path through the towers that will carry your marble to the red target tower. So that's, now we see what it is. I'll put the rest of that on the camera, so if you want to, um, hopefully, whoop. Uh, okay, I'm, okay, so there you go, if you want to read the whole thing. And they have a little picture of what it should look like. I still only have a, a just a vague idea of what it's going to be. Um, okay, and then they have some some you know ignite your mind. Uh, they have uh, all sorts of things and no baby zero to three. Well, they've already said on the front you got to be eight. Um, and it, you know anything with a, a small marble in it. I mean the kids kids eat everything right, and then then you got to go take them to the doctor and get that taken out of them, and that's that's. So it better just to wait until they're eight and they're less likely to eat it. All right, and then it won some sort of award in 2015. Uh, 2020, you're still putting your award on, I don't know, maybe maybe it's okay. T-O-T-Y 2015 winner. Toy of the Year Awards. Okay, well, that, that's pretty good. All right, I think it's time to kind of open this up. We got, uh, you know, like I said, a familiar routine, but sometimes there's new things like uh, you, you have not seen this particular knife before. Okay, I think that should do it. Now this is uh, this is a little bit. Okay, put that away before someone gets hurt. Yeah, I'm, I'm really keen to see what's, uh, what this is about. Gravity Maze. 
Um, they had a display of this out, but it, it, it was missing the marble, I think. And it, Okay, so there's the marble. Oh, they give you a couple marbles. A little bag. Okay. And there we go. Okay. And that bag. I need that. Um, okay, so they have it. Okay, I, I, I saw the French on the back here, and I thought maybe that was... For the, uh, oh no, so they do have in all the different international languages. I thought maybe they'd put a French instruction inside so that we could, uh, we could sell it in Canada. Because that's a requirement. Uh, no, they have it in every language. Great, so the gravity logic. Okay, so, you know what, I'm going to skip over most of this, but I'll, I'll just kind of show it to you. Um, but I'm just going to quickly read how to play. Select it. You know what? Let's forget the instruction. We don't need the instruction. Okay, maybe I'm trying to figure out what's top and bottom. Okay, I think that's how it goes. Okay, and look at all this stuff here. Well, this is this is really cool. You got all these different, all these different towers. This is all one one solid thing. Oh, I see. Okay. So these are not necessarily um, individual little pieces. I see. Okay, now I'm starting to get this a little bit. Okay, gravity. Oh, okay. So this is what you get. You get this uh, pack of, uh, of cards here. Okay, let me just... Uh, okay, I'll just... I'll nest these. I, I, know, I don't know. Sometimes that doesn't work out because then they get stuck. But... We'll just try it. Okay, so I'll just I'll set this up so we can have some idea what we're supposed to do. But there's also this piece up here. Okay. So and then I got these little things. So what am I supposed to do? Boy. All right. Contents. Okay, so it has three little balls. Which what am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. I had it. Uh, <laughs> I had it upside down. Oh wait. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Um, it it's a little Ziploc bag. I almost tore it, so I'm not sure. Okay. I I'm hoping they give you. Maybe you only need one, and they give you some spares. So it seems like it might be a. Yeah, it seems like it might be metal. It, it definitely not plastic anyway. So that's the that's the ball that they give you. So I'm just gonna put it there. Okay, that's good. And then there's 60 cards. Oh, okay. And then they give you the different um, the the different towers. And uh, so you have different numbers of these towers. Okay, this is this is cool. All right. So. All right, and I think uh, looks like they give you challenges, and it looks like they put the solutions on the back. So we'll have to be careful not to look at the back for this first one. Okay, and I, that should hopefully be the last time we need that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move the camera down just a little bit, just for warning, just so we can see this a little better. All right, that's, I think, a better camera view. So, we, I got this open now. I think I got this open. Oh, my. Uh, no, maybe I didn't get it. All right, so are they numbered? <laughs> Let's see, beginner. Yeah, they're numbered. Okay, they're numbered and color coded. So, yeah, it looks like um, you got beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then expert. And you got a whole bunch of expert ones. So that's good. All right. So I'm just going to take the the beginner one here, and we're not going to look at the back. And so we're going to put a yellow, and we're going to put a uh, oh okay then we're gonna put this red thing here I think that's the okay and oh, okay they have little dots on there 
So, oh, okay. And so this, this has a little, I'm just going to show you because it is actually kind of important. There's two dots there and two dots there and one dot there and no dot there. So I got to actually find that on here. Oop, find find that on here where it it's actually shows it. So for example, this one, um, it it would be right except that it's two and two, but it has two here, and we actually just want to find the one that just has one dot there. Okay. Oh, okay. There it is, right there. So it has two dots here, two dots here, and one dot there. And according to this, I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, there it is. And it looks like it comes out, well, that's kind of, huh, I'm not sure I understand this. Okay, building rules, a marble can never lose. Okay, select the challenge card, set up the towers. Make sure you position the towers correctly by using the black dot markings along the edge. See example diagram 1.1 on key card. Oh, there we go. It's the other side of the key card. All right. Okay, so you can't just have it kind of free fall out of the, the tower. And yeah, it does look like it's supposed to be there, but. Huh. Does it got to go into the red? It's got to end in the tower, target tower. Oh, okay. So it does. It ends inside it, not outside it. Now it makes sense. Okay. So, uh, and then I'm supposed to put one of these yellows, uh, and there's two of them. So I'm supposed to put a yellow. And it's, uh, it's got uh, two dots, two dots, and two dots. So I assume there's only one configuration where that would be the case. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. And a marble can never drop, a marble can never drop onto a flat surface, can never travel horizontally for more than one unit at a time. Oh, wow. If you get stuck, look in the back of your challenge card. Create your own challenges. And now it says not suitable for children under 36 months. 36 months. Oh, boy. So, all right. So, if I just drop the marble in then right now, where is it going to go? Oh, oops. Well, that, that was good, but I don't think it was supposed to go that way. Oh, boy. Um... I'm a little puzzled. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to come out the back, but it's just, yeah, it's just going to drop straight down. Okay. So now I think we got it. We got to find something that will direct the, the marble there. So they have a couple of, okay, so this is too high. I mean, two units high. They have, they have them when there's one unit high, no, two units high. So what if we did that? Okay, because then it's going to go there, going to go there. And then we need just another one that just, uh, but that's not really good. That's not going to work so well. Because if we had it like that, yeah, it, it's, uh, okay, maybe that way. Um, the, the reason is if we if we go like that and then if we, if we put another slopey one It's not going to be able to get into the in, Into there, right? So now we go there we'll go there. Oh, no, I, <laughs> I Didn't mean to do it that way because what I want is Maybe we go off to the side So we'll come out here and then we maybe go snake our way around. I think I don't know Maybe well, what do I have? That's that's pretty much it, right? So like this one, if I put it there, um, if it falls in there, it'll be good. Oh, you know what? 
this might actually be okay. Yeah. All right. I think I think I solved it. I think uh, I think I've solved it. Let me just. Okay. So I'm gonna put the marble in now. All right. Here we go. Well, look at that. It went it went down 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 into. The, okay. So that was it. I I hope. Uh, I hope you're able to see that. That is actually kind of cool. Yeah, that, that's pretty much what I was... It's a little different than I was expecting, but it's definitely the sort of thing that I, I really... Um, I think it's really neat. Now, you know, this is pretty straightforward, right? Uh, but if you move this, then, then you'd have to have the thing turning corners, and uh, there are different levels, so it would be kind of... Okay, see if I can make it uh, go again here. There we go, just really fast. Maybe that's why they give you extra marbles so that you can watch that. All right, well, you know what? I, I, that's going to be a lot of fun. I think it, it. I like the sound it makes. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Um, it's, it's a very tactile thing, and uh, it's logic. So let's just cheat a little bit. We, we've already I've built it this way, so let's see what they say on the back here. Oh, look at that. They give exactly the same one. So that's good. We found the optimal solution for it. That was great. Okay. So I'm just going to put all that back. I'm going to put... Uh, so everything should pack up quite nicely here. I, I'm not going to seal this bag because it's going to take me a while to get it open again. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that, that was... Uh, that's exactly what I really what I wanted to uh, to get. All right, so the cards go in here, and this one goes over top. I guess that's a kind of thing here. Hmm. No, that's uh, okay. So that one goes there. Goes there. I think, uh, okay, I think the, okay, I think that this one, this is the target, so you're always going to use that, right? So they're going to, they're going to give it to you, uh, for every single one. Yeah, there you go. So you're always going to use that one. And then the tray should just go, just nestle quite nicely there. And the instructions, oh, this is a really good kit. Okay, now, am I going to be able to unnest everything? Yep. All right, super. So that was Gravity Maze. I'm really glad I got this. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. Um, I'll be taking this around and, uh, you know, whenever I'm... Uh, have a chance to work with uh, young people. It, this is the sort of thing that really gets them thinking and uh, with a um, nice intellectual challenge that's not like bringing out a, a math problem or something like that. It just gets your mind going, but it's not the normal kind of schoolwork that they're used to seeing. All right, well, that was... Okay, so let's just uh, take a short little break here, and when we come back, I'll have the gravity tracks all ready to go. Okay, now uh, the next one is the Gravity Tracks, and uh, this is the starter set, so I guess you need that. And interactive track system, experience the power of gravity. You have all these different languages. Uh, Ravensburger, Ravensburger. Um, they do a lot of puzzles, and uh, it's just kind of interesting to see this. I don't know what else they do. Age eight to eight to ninety nine, so I got a few years uh, left before I have to give it up. Uh, and this is a starter set over 100 components. Well, that, that's good. This will kind of get you going. Now, I have read somewhere online that they don't recommend the expansions, but rather just keep getting more starter sets. Well, we're going to find out, I guess, uh, what that's all about. Okay, well, there's nothing new here. Um, okay, grabby tracks. Um, $69.99 Canadian, $70. Um, which for a, uh, a a STEM toy or for an educational toy like a Lego or something, actually not bad at all. 
Um, I I was actually surprised. I looked at these sets before, and uh, I guess at a place where they didn't have prices on them, and I just assumed that they they were out of my my price range, but or my league. But actually, that's not bad for this type of building kit. Okay, well, there's so the sides don't really have a lot. Um, okay, they do claim it's a a, a, a stem toy. Okay, and also. Um, I see that it uh, says App Store, so that is something. So they are pitching it as a STEM toy. Um, just uh, for for those that um, maybe not uh, familiar with that term, uh, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, and it's a particular focus of, of uh, some modern education systems. I guess I guess in general, all of them to different degrees and it's just basically making sure that kids uh, are have plenty of opportunities to uh, to access these um, subjects um, but it's also quite trendy to slap it on toys even though uh, in my mind a, a, a educational toy is something that actually teaches the kids some principle from the, these categories if it's science it teaches them some scientific principle Newton's third law, right, or, you know, some, something like that. But um, I've seen some of these toys that, that seem more like toys uh, than really STEM. So anyway, that, that's one of my pet peeves. We'll see what this is about. Uh, let's see, where does it have it? Okay, so down here, um, well, it here's, I'll just kind of uh, show you what the, what it says. And there is quite a bit of resources for this on uh, online, uh, particularly YouTube. Just uh, they seem to have quite a few Gravity Tracks resources. So there's the, the data plate there. And uh, it says uh, 8 to 99 age, uh, one plus people. And then I don't know what the time thing is. Optional? A time thing. Maybe a timer? I don't really know. Uh, what that means. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and it does give a list of the contents on there, but honestly, if you, you probably, I mean, I would find it hard to figure out what it all meant. Okay, so we'll get the, get the, the knife on its first puzzle opening, or actually any kind of opening sortie here. Okay. I guess an unboxing duty. Okay. So that should be good. All right. Now I'm, I'm really curious to see how this is all going to, how this is all going to be packaged up and what it's going to look like. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm just going to, for the sake of space, set the lid aside here. And so this is what we got. Okay, let's take that off. So it give you a, uh, a book. Okay. Okay. I would. I'm just guessing this is uh, German. Okay. Oh, all right. No problem. See. Okay. And L. Okay, USA, USA, GB. Okay, now I'm, I'm a little triggered here. It says GB and USA. Um, but but that can't be the case because these languages are very different. Um, the, the USA people spell things a little funny. Okay, create action pack track systems, 18 different construction elements. The goal is to create the journey. Okay. The goals to create the journey. You see, now, if this was STEM, um, really, truly a science type or, you know, some kind of educational toy, the goal would be to learn the principles of what? Motion, magnetism, whatever. So that's that's why I talk about that. Uh, you know, maybe just point out when you're when you're buying a STEM toy for a kid, um, at, try to find out what the lesson is, what what scientific or engineering or mathematical principle that they're, they're learning. Okay, so it gives you all the stuff. There's a base plate. There's four base plates that create the foundation. There's track, 
small high tile, large high tile. There's six balls. Okay. And then a construction plan booklet. Oh, so they give you some construction booklets. They give you a launch pad. Okay, they give you curves, landings, and then a finish line. Every track system needs a landing that the balls reach after a successful run. Hmm. Okay, and then a finish line. Then there's junctions. Then there's level two stuff. Okay, and then optional, oh, options. Um, construction plans, freestyle design, um, tasks. Okay, oh, okay, and then there's some tasks. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. And, um, and then there's an app, so I'd be curious to know what that app's all about. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, well, that's, so we get tracks, we get different kind of, Towers. They're all in uh, non-resealable bags, so this is something um, you know, might be. I'm not sure if it's really necessary to put them in their own bags. Uh, get some Ziploc bags or something. Okay, this is the start they talked about, where you can put the balls in, you press it, and I guess they start. Okay, these are the balls. Okay, they're pretty nicely done up. Oh, there's more. Okay, this is some sort of base thing. Is that what they're talking about, the base? All right, that looks good. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what that is. Okay, we're gonna special thing. Um, plans. Okay, well that, there's, there's plans, and then this, oh, okay, I'm just going to put the box aside here. Okay, are these the, oh yeah, okay, turn that over. So these are, I guess, where you put the different elements. Okay, yeah, okay, so here's, here they give you a little... Uh, okay, and the degree of difficulty. Okay, so they give you different um, things to build. So this one has two of these base plates. And a landing pad. I don't know where that... have to put these together it kind of looks like it doesn't it oh boy maybe I should read the instructions some more <laughs> oh my uh, wait I, I I thought it was turned it thought it was turned to the English part Oh, okay, yeah, they show you you have to put that in. Oh, okay, they do show you <laughs> you have to put stuff together. Um, so, yeah, you have to make the landing thing. So, I was just going to try to maybe put this little little bit together here uh, to see how it works. I'm not sure if I need a, a knife so much as I need scissors. This is going to get very... Okay, I'm going to prop that up there for a while here. No, oh, no, that's not what I'm... That's, this is what I want to prop up. Oh, it actually shows you how to do it. Oh, now I 
get it. Okay. Okay, maybe I should just. Well, I won't need those. Maybe that. I just need a couple of those. these curves. Okay, so that's the that's the end. Don't actually need that, I don't think. There's a five. It actually shows you. I'm just following this how to build the whole thing. And I guess I need that kind of help because, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so. So the only thing I'm just a little confused about is what these things are for. But as you see them, maybe there's some more singles. I don't know. Okay, maybe I should just go back and look at what they tell me. Oh, small height, large height tiles. Okay. Okay, so those those black ones are small are half step basically what they're saying. Alright. So far so good. And then I'm gonna go uh, and then put all of these other elements on. So I'm gonna put that on there. Very good. I put that in there. That's that's good. Oh, and it, it actually shows you everything you need here. And but I do need two of these these boards. I guess I'll I'll take care of that first here. Okay, now they're showing them. Okay, uh, this is a little bit. They're showing them long and narrow, but the it's not actually the way they. Oh, all right, yeah, like that. Okay. So, see, they look long and narrow, but they're not really. All right, um, and then. There's four of them here, that's why. Oh, oh my. All right, well, <laughs> not really sure how that's gonna work. <sighs> okay. All right, I guess that's something I should have thought of before I... Yeah, that's, that's not gonna work <laughs> at all. Okay, you know what? Now we have to, this is the science coming in here. Um, this is the four step problem solving model. Devise a plan, I'll understand the problem, and then devise a plan. So our plan will have to change a little bit. So I'm just gonna put that here, and well, you know, it'll have to change. Uh, and then 
And this one on top of this will go uh, right here. Okay. That, that looks good. And then this one will go right here. And then finally the landing spot will kind of be, oh, wait, we, we need more. Uh -uh. So it'll be up here somewhere, and I don't know how I'm supposed to put those together. I, I guess they just, oh, they kind of, okay, I think maybe I'm supposed to push these pieces out here. Is that right? these out I think okay wow got some hanging chads there as you might okay and all right oops right okay we're, we're hanging in there so these ones that was kind of here and then there was one unbelievable. That way. I see how they lock in. Oh, that's 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 very clever. That's actually locked them in quite nicely. So I'm probably supposed to do that on this side too. Yipes. All right. Well. Um, We'll do it. Okay, so uh, so the takeaway from this is, is read the instructions, I think. differently okay Be because of this uh... okay. now we'll open this one up okay. we'll track there's not as much track here as I actually thought there might be well maybe it's just sort of a lot of little sections or something. Okay, well maybe, maybe there's enough track. Okay, so yeah, so there's, there's more to it to this than I thought. I thought it would all just be kind of a free play thing. Um, well, this, this all fits together quite nicely. And then we have another one which we got to use this part.
can. Okay, and then we need another little, very small section here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we use a long section, and that long section has to go, and that, that's where things have kind of gone off the rails, so to speak. All right, well, that, that's actually not bad at all. Okay, well, you know what? That, that pretty much looks, I think that, that pretty much looks what like what they asked for. But just uh yeah. Okay, so we have this. We have that that, that all looks, looks really good. Okay. So I'm just gonna put that in the box. And then what do you, what do they say? Oh that's it. That's that's your that's your finish line, right? So let's let's try it. Now I'll open up the the marbles which are very well packed and I assume it's so that some kid doesn't get a hold of them. Yeah they're telling you right on the outside they've got a whole bunch of warnings. Again you know this is the sort of thing that your little brother little sister gets a hold of this uh, you know it's gonna be kind of not very pleasant to get that out of them. Well, because it looks like candy. These give you a lot of marbles. Huh? Okay. Okay, oh, they're, they're individually, okay, so different color, different colors, and then, then there's conventional. Well, well, what will we do? Let's try red. I'll just put these ones in a box. All right, okay, I just dropped it. We might need another color. All right, there it is. Um, it seems like it might be metal. It doesn't feel like plastic. It, it does have a bit of a heft to it. Okay, well, let's uh, let's give it a try then. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, put it in there. And so the idea is for it'll end up in there. Ready? Oh, let me just, I'll just move it so we get a better view. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, Gravity Tracks test here. Well, look at that that worked that was pretty cool so you know a little bit of uh figuring it out but uh and and there we are so there's quite a bit you could do with this uh, i see this being uh, a pretty cool uh, setup um you know the, having the cardboard base is a little bit you kind of have to make sure that doesn't get too damaged but i imagine you could probably uh put this together and, and not have um, it, it, it it might not move depending on, on what you were doing with it if it was just locked together yeah that is that is really neat so the next thing I would do is just try and do something fun and maybe modify this a little bit and do a few other things um, yeah I think this could be uh, be lots and lots of fun so you know what this uh this is really getting kind of a long video so i think what i'm going to do here i definitely i want to uh, show this at some point but i'm going to save this one just because this video is getting kind of long and uh i think uh i think we've kind of seen what this is um yeah so what do you think of this as a as a toy uh, as a sort of a Kind of a fun game let me know what you think in the comments um, would you get this for a young person or would you get it for yourself would you pretend to get it for a young person and then play with it yourself um, and also what do you think of this as its educational potential what are they what are they learning from this okay so maybe some engineering principles but it's there's no there's no you know it's just sort of a trial and error type of thing right I don't know, maybe. Um, having the uh, different tracks might be kind of interesting following along. I know years and years ago we had these uh, kits called uh, well, from Heath Kit. They were uh, electronics kits where they give you a circuit board and a bunch of components, electronic components. You'd solder it together and you'd end up with uh, a radio or an oscilloscope or a computer 
Uh, they even had a robot at one time. Uh, I learned a lot from, from Heathkit, so it was really a, a good thing. Uh, but they made you like learn the resistor color codes and learn the difference between a capacitor and a resistor um, and uh, a different thing. So, you know, um, I don't know, maybe this is uh, the modern kind of equivalent. So uh, that's it for my <laughs> second vlog. Um, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, as always, I do appreciate your uh, comments, your questions, your suggestions, whatever else you're thinking about. But let me know um, the answer to that question. Would you get one of these for yourself or for a young person? And, um, you know, do you really think this is actually educational? All right. Well, that's it for me. Until next time. Thanks for watching.